Hello, my name is Tom Pato, co-founder of Total Marine Technology, along with my partner, Paul Colley. For the last 30 years, we've been building a subsea manufacturing industry here in Perth to support the oil and gas industry all through Australasia. In this facility in Perth, we build ROVs, remotely operated vehicles. They work down to two miles and they have up to 200 horsepower. ROVs are similar to the machines you saw two miles down in the Gulf of Mexico tending to that blowout. We do the same type of work. In fact, those are our competitors. And we do this work all the way as far north as Russia, Sakhalin Island, all the way down to here and into New Zealand. In our shop in Perth, Western Australia, we manufacture 90% of everything on the ROV. We support the ROVs when they're operating offshore and we manufacture new ROVs. So what I'll be doing here is taking you through the shop so you can see all these facilities. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Here we are in the engineering area. Mechanical engineering over here, electrical engineering over there. What I'll do is, we'll take a look at electrical engineering first. Awesome. Here you have the software department. A couple of the guys are gone right now. But what's happening is uh, these gentlemen here make a lot of the sensors from scratch. So we have an ultrasonic transducer here. Chemical company, they go down inside tanks and they're not uh, capable of putting humans in there because of the caustic smells and that. So we've managed to put together a, a system to clean their tanks. Mm -hmm. Pretty safe. Big mechanical arms. Okay, this gentleman here is from Brazil. And he's working on a sensor. Uh, the ultrasonic. What do you... Oh, he's working on the other part of Allen's. No, the invention there. What we have here is the uh, mechanical engineering shop. Here's Paul, my partner. Hi Brett guys. Manners. Brett's the uh, head of engineering here. Hello, hello. He basically starts from scratch and gets these ROVs to a point under Paul's supervision. It's a bladder. Okay, what we have here is a bladder. A uh, differential sensor. <laughs> ah, this is Lars. <laughs> Lars is a Hungarian. Not hungry, but Hungarian. This is a valve for an ROV. <laughs> but in Hungary, it's a wolf. <laughs> When we draw up the systems, they have a file, exploded diagram, and then all the drawings to build the individual component. And these individual components, when put together, have to be tested. On these shelves are all the certifications, non-destructive testing. We have to go by guidelines in the oil industry and mechanical engineering guidelines. And we follow them all. This is an electronic bottle for a CI surveyor. It's an ROV that we haven't manufactured, but we do own them. And we've had them for quite a long time. They're a very good system. And here we are upgrading them using our own little tricks. And here is a uh, controller. Here we have minimal electronics to do lots of jobs. Power supply and the topside brains manipulators and turn the lights on and various things. And then here, we actually fly the ROV, just like an airplane. And down, right, left. It's a break right now, but this is the clean room. Generally, there are people in here working. Manipulators just like this were in these Jurassic Park movies where the fella went over the edge at the end. He had the DNA in his hand, and there was the station wagon that went into the water, and the raptor came in and killed him. Well, one of these arms was in a latex coating. What we have here is the individual component high pressure testing facility. We know how the ROVs run. We have no problem when they're all put together that they will work in the seabed. But while we're building it, we take the small individual components and we test them to three miles below the sea. So if you come in here, you'll see. We hydrostatically test them. The lid is so big it needs a crane to pick it up. That's called Ebenezer the Squeezer.
See here we have all the aluminium. Right, what we have here is our work board. As you can see on the work board, we have engineering, production, fabrication, machining, hydraulics, electrical, electronic, and other. Boys all get their jobs in the morning, and as they finish them, they take them off, then put them here, and it works pretty well. In here are electronic spare parts, wires, electrical fittings that we make. That goes on the end of the ROV, and it connects all the wires together, so that's all finished. There are thousands of wires in there, and all these are pressurized for underwater. Shipping and receiving. As you see, we have a bond store. We uh, dispatch things here, we receive things here. And they're a good lot in here. They uh, ship things all around the world. They understand all about customs in different countries. They do quite well. We need stuff yesterday, and they understand that. Now, when we start a job, we build our own sea freight containers. Now, this is not a sea freight container that you build. This is built from scratch to a code, A60. As you see here, we have different doors in it, air conditioning facilities, it's insulated. And when we go to a job, everything goes in there nicely. We get to the job, we unpack it, do the job, and put it back in there, secure it, and it goes off again to another country. So we're quite used to this for 30 years, building things, on a time limit. Uh, we're usually going to a rig that's a million dollars a day and they have to, we have to be there on time. And uh, we do it all the time. Get it onto the rig, set it up and operate. Then we're finished, we pack it all back up and we move to another country or another rig. What we have here is an x-ray machine. Something we don't do often, but we engineered this for Shell Oil and Woodside. As you can see, it's quite technical. goes to the seabed, this is in a deployment cage, and then the ROV come up, comes up and grabs it and pulls it, flies it around the seabed and puts it onto the pipe. Then it's hooked up to the ROV and we run all the mechanisms. So now the building here is where we make our drones. Airplanes with no people. So come on in and I'll show you. Okay, here we are in the drone factory. So you can take a look at a lot of these uh, quad rotors here, the different sizes that we have. So you have a camera here and a camera here. Camera here. This is a one-man chopper designed to carry 250 pounds. What we're doing is we're making it into a drone and it'll take things to the forward lines, ammunition, food, supplies, also carry a Hellfire missile. So this thing can go quite high in the air, 20,000 feet, and carry 250 pounds. There'll be no man on it. And another router, 3D router there.
And showing the molds, here's the fiberglassing outfit. Here we make uh, positive and negative molds or male and female molds from scratch using the 3D router. We use carbon fiber, fiberglass. That's called a splat. It's a target for an F-18. It can go up to 400 knots. We're gonna make them go Mach 1.1. They'll be excellent targets. They're cheap, fast. Here's some of the parts that we manufacture. Very light. All made here. Hope you enjoyed the viewing of this video. You can get a hold of us on the web www.tmtrov.com.au Until next time, adios.